The goals of the Sacred Heart prepared me not just for STEM subjects, not just for sport. It really gave me such a wide basis to absolutely hit the ground running in whatever I chose to do. Engineering is certainly a male dominated industry and it, it still is. It's something that the industry recognises and puts a lot of focus on encouraging girls to study STEM, encouraging girls to do engineering at uni and really focusing on uh, retaining women in engineering. Everything, your commute to work, where you work, where you live, everything is touched by engineering. Our population is 50-50 or thereabouts, so the engineering and STEM industry need to be representative of our community because our sole purpose is to serve our community. Because I was really good at and really loved maths and sciences, engineering was a real option for me. But with my interest in sport and my sports background, I also had in the back of my mind uh, dietetics and nutrition. But the Stuart Home um, career counsellor strongly advised me to continue down the engineering route because she knew me, I'd dealt with her for five years through school and she just suggested that I'd get bored elsewhere, that engineering would be challenging and that that would be um, really good for me to stay engaged and, and stay inspirational in the, in the career path. I was naturally drawn to maths and sciences, but sort of combining sport and STEM subjects, my maths teacher sort of all the way through Stuart Home was Mr Spence and he was also our cross country coach. So I'd be running with Mr Spence you know, at six in the morning and then doing a couple of lessons with him during the day as well. I really do reflect fondly on, on uh, my classes with Mr Spence and, and how I progress through maths with him through school. When I got to Stuart Home, I was in every sport possibly available. So I was doing athletics, was doing cross country, basketball, swimming, water polo, and some sports I couldn't do just because they clashed with other sports that I was doing. Um, so I never got to do rowing and never got to do netball. Um, but it absolutely is just available to everyone and it's not like just the sporty girls are playing. Um, you, you really branch out and extend your friendship groups because of um, teams that you're involved in. And, and I've got absolutely lifelong uh, friendships with girls that I played basketball with in year eight, in 1998. I had aspirations to, to get to the Olympics as a swimmer and, and that was shot down in flames when I was the same age and the same stroke as Liesl Jones and she just decided to get really, really good. I had an unsuccessful attempt at the Beijing Olympics in 2008 and took some time away from the sport, but it was, it was years of preparation, dedication. The school community really supported me. Um, I had to travel with the junior Australian team overseas whilst I was completing year 11 and 12, so I was missing subjects left, right and centre. I had it drilled into me from a very early age by my mum and dad that school comes first. So I just got really efficient at doing my schoolwork. So I, would, I was not allowed to go training until I'd finished every last bit of homework. And the balance of school and sport was just such a positive thing for me because it was all that I wanted to get out of, out of my youth to be able to um, succeed in both of those areas uh, later in life. Stuart Home was a really defining time in my life. I've got such great memories. I've kept really strong friendships, relationships with teachers that taught me. Um, and I'm so excited to take people up to Stuart Home just to see how beautiful it is. 
And I actually got married at the Stuart Home Chapel last year, which I was really happy to celebrate with all of my family and friends.